Ready? Okay, excellent. I'm just going to jump right in. Go I ahead. apologize. No, okay. I apologize. Uh, I'm the guilty one. Do Americans know how to deal with grief? I don't think so. I don't think our culture is at all comfortable with getting old, let alone dying. And, you know, and, and the cake eaters is really the whole beginning is this, these people are grieving. They don't even know it. They're just numb. And, you know, <laughs> it's not something that American audiences are necessarily going to be, like, really comfortable with. But you decided that you wanted to wallow in it for a little while? Well, oh, totally wallow in it, no. Not wallow necessarily, but this movie anyway, um, it's just an undeniable part of it. So why do you embrace this movie as your directorial debut uh, when, it, when it seems like the themes would be somewhat foreign to you? I seem to gravitate to stories that involve um, people reaching for something that they feel is out of their reach or because of impending loss or recent loss, you know love in the face of loss like I always love stories that have to do with that um, love loss and longing <laughs> novels that I read it's just it's like kind of cliche seeing this I mean we all face death and tragedy in our lives at some point do you feel as prepared as Kristen Stewart's character to, to face that in your own life I don't know I don't know I think you know I, I heard an interesting thing on NPR about this man who was paralyzed at 13 his discussion about um, living fully in his body despite the fact that some of it doesn't function normally was so inspiring to me you know this idea that we, we we have our wounds in life we have our whether it be emotional or physical or or psychological and you know we have to learn to live with what we have uh, the family is so important uh, in the movie. You have the two clans yeah. in there, and family has been important to you. Is yeah. that? Do you think that is really sort of the uh, potential saving grace for people in dealing with grief in life? Oh, definitely. For Def me, it just causes the grief in my life. But <laughs> <laughs> well, that's it, isn't it? But but you know, but ultimately, but ultimately, they were there at the beginning, and they'll be there at the end, and um, it's about relating to what you have you know it's about learning to uh, <laughs> love the one you're with <laughs> you know um, whatever that means sometimes that means staying away I don't know um, so, so all these things whether we're acting and the writing and directing all those are they really things that are just to satisfy you in the moment or is there something about art that is a grasp at immortality of some sort <laughs> maybe it is a grasp at immortality um, I don't know. They are like little children, you know. They do survive you, these works of art. Um, so in that sense, yeah, there's definitely there's definitely the little immortality project going on. But more than that, it's just about reaching people in this moment, like trying to communicate something across this chasm, you know, the, the divide. How would you want to be remembered from all of this? Oh, I don't know. Um, I guess as someone who questioned things and took risks and tried to be compassionate, <laughs> respectful to people. I don't know. That's about it. Those are good things. Those are great things. I think if I could accomplish one of those, I'd be sure. happy. <laughs> you take any one of those? I think one. <laughs> so on your tombstone, you can just have a checklist or yeah, something? Yeah, yeah. Which, just which did I have? boxes, and it's sort of dealer's choice. People can decide. I love that. It's very democratic. Mm -hmm.